Going to last at least for the next 24 hours. Really intense right now, though. So this Monday morning, starting off with a tough drive out there, as Jacqueline's been reporting, and right along 680, I just saw this significant cell come through. So heavy rain came down across Pleasant Hill, Walnut Creek, Concord now. And the areas of orange they just saw moments ago have now turned to yellow. We are seeing plenty of areas of orange there across Antioch, Oakley, Bethel Island, Pittsburgh, uh, you name it. Really, every city across the Bay Area is going to be be dealing with this storm. It is intense this morning. Look at downtown San Francisco right now. So Richmond District already seeing some heavy bands of rain coming through, about a half inch of rain per hour. So this could cause some ponding on those roads. Those city streets definitely could be dealing with some flooded areas because of it across the Sunset District as well. So it's picked up a lot of moisture as it moved its way from the Pacific Ocean towards our region, towards California. Burlingame right now seeing a little less intensity, but it was in the orange, so that was about a half inch of rain uh, per hour coming down there just moments ago. And look at Santa Clara. Now we saw a break in the rain there for Cupertino and Sunnyvale, but now we're seeing it pick up yet again. San Jose as well. Milpitas, you are not dry. Uh, certainly seeing plenty of this all across our region from the south to the north, East Bay as well. And we are watching this rain uh, really getting even more intense as more of that moisture comes through. Look at the North Bay right now. Yauntville seeing rain at Napa as well. So this is heavy rainfall coming down. It was moderate just moments ago, but the North Bay now seeing the effects of this storm uh, as it picks up and it's going to get even worse later on tonight. Three to five inches of rain expected for those burn areas. So where those fires burned, that's where mudslides could happen. Debris flow is likely. Look at the visibility as well. We're seeing some fog forming out there across Half Moon Bay, SFO, San Jose, 1.7 mile visibility, Petaluma and Santa Rosa down to three mile visibility. You can see it in our live camera here of San Jose. Definitely foggy out there. 52 degrees there, 51 for San Francisco. The afternoon highs today are in the upper 50s and low 60s. 61 for Redwood City and Oakland, 55 for the high in Vallejo. Let's talk about the winds now. Damaging winds expected. This These type of gusts could cause trees and power lines to go down. We're talking 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts. Sierra snowfall also expected at the very tops of the mountain though, but up to two feet possibly possible there. Two inches, though, as you get lower because it's not a cold storm system. Look at all the moisture hitting California right now. It picked up a lot of moisture from the subtropical areas and then this cold front that came through from the north all combined. And that's why we are seeing these totals looking like this. Three to five inches expected for the North Bay, as I mentioned. East Bay Hills could get two to four. Santa Cruz Mountains, three to six. The rest of the Bay Area up to two inches of rain. Now, by Tuesday night, all of this should let up and then we will be met with high pressure and sunshine and the dry weather will return. Michelle. Thank you.